Hey, we are going to review House of Cards Season 3 for you all. It's Jay, Max, and Dan doing our first cast as a group in the same building without any, like, remote people or no one call it. Yeah, no satellites. It's just, just us. So hopefully this turns out okay. So, yeah, Dan, you want to give us a quick synopsis <laughs> on the show? Season 3. Uh, the main dude, Francis, is now president. And he wanders around going, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and, then, and the first lady goes, blah, 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 blah. And, then, and, then, and there's lots of blobbing. Uh, also, uh, slight spoiler, I guess, if you have seen the season two. It's all about spoilers. This is going to be oh, oh, very no. spoiler heavy. So, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that, see? It's always about spoilers. <laughs> Doug did not die at the end of season two. And he's still around, just kind of broken. Uh, I like I like how they did that. His whole storyline was cool this yes. year, I thought. And uh, Doug's back in the fold. He's a badass. <laughs> finally, finally ties up all those loose knots that he left. Uh, it was great. Badass with a cane now. Badass <laughs> with a shovel. <laughs> and a cane. And a one hand and a cane in the other. <laughs> a cane, a van, and a shovel. <laughs> oh, man. That's the name of his spinoff. <laughs> Should be the name of his garage band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, a cane, a van, and a shovel. Yeah. Um, Kevin Spacey owns this character now. Like, you can't separate the two when he is doing this role. And uh, I really like season three. The only real com complaint I guess I had was he didn't get his hands as dirty as he has in the past. But he really can. You know, he's the president. But. I like that, you know, pushing people in front of the subways, letting them die in the garage, <laughs> killing dogs. Killing dogs. I know and he killed that dude in his garage. He didn't let it. It's not like yeah, oh yeah. It's not like you well, stumbled on him already killing himself and just like doo, 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 doo. like he straight like, up killed that dude. It's not like he strangled him like physically. No, but he strangled he him left by the car on and turned. Yes, closed the, the door. Yes, know? he killed him. One hundred percent his fault. He killed him. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying he's not dead be be because of Francis. I'm, I'm... I mean, he killed him, okay? He was... But yeah, <laughs> that, I, I miss that Frank. We didn't really get so much that Frank. Yeah, there's no season. way that that would fly. Like, <laughs> But he does have better lines in season three, yes. I, I think. Yeah. You want to give us your favorite <laughs> line of the season? <laughs> uh, my, my favorite line of, of the season is when he and his wife are having a fight. And, you know, it's you know pretty you know a high intensity and at the end he just looks at the camera and he says what the fuck are you looking at <laughs> that was awesome yeah it was really good he's all petulant <laughs> yeah so there, there there's a few moments that was fun, just told me all me fun with the fourth wall when uh, he's talking to that the judge who's coming down with Alzheimer's, and you know he does his fourth wall break, and the judge is like, "What was that? Excuse me." <laughs> that was that was awesome. That was oh, really man. cool, actually. I, uh, I I liked it when that dude is like, uh, "Yeah, everything would be great if I just can't remember your name right now." And it's like somebody's known for fucking years. <laughs> and it's just like <laughs> Alzheimer's is funny. But to go with what I said about. <laughs> Uh, the thing I said about my least favorite thing being that we didn't get to see Frank be all hands in, probably because he wasn't, you know, close with Dave during this season because he had his own storyline arc, which I really liked. So, you know, we didn't get that side because we had this other story, which I thought, same as Max, was handled very well. Plus, he, he is the president now, so it's... it's Yeah, it's just not plausible. <laughs> it's harder for, for, for him yeah. to get his, his hands dirty with as, as much... I was like, oh, yeah, no, you Secret know. Service, you can take the night off. <laughs> yeah. However. Just let him borrow the car. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Next season, he is in a run for the presidency against a Republican candidate. I have a feeling we're going to get some dirt when that happens. Uh, see, again, like, I don't feel like it's going to be. But we got Dave. Him, he's Doug. Back, Doug. Sorry. He's back Doug. with Doug. I don't know why I call him Dave. You give <laughs> Doug the respect that he deserves. Yes. He, <laughs> Doug now, is a hard ass. Now that he is back with Doug, though. Doug is going to get his hands dirty. He was honestly surprised at Doug, though. I, I was really surprised when he actually killed her. Like, I was... They they did fool me. They didn't fool me with thinking that Doug switched sides and wasn't on Frank's yeah. team anymore. That I yeah. didn't believe that for, for a second. second. He was playing an angle. But when he let her walk away, I thought she was gone. I yeah. Thought, I was like, oh, God, again? And then they're just like, nope. <laughs> oh, God. It was great. It was great. The only thing they didn't... 
give us was the splat on the front of the van. You know, and they gave us a splat on the front of the subway train. So I figured they're gonna give us a splat on the van. Not the case. Oh well. But uh, it was good. I, I, it was a solid, solid. I, mean, I think Doug was the best part of the season. Like I, I honestly, because I mean, his whole you know you go from the second he wakes up to you know to today, and it's like it's it, it's this whole process that he goes through, and it's 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 pretty cool. I, I really liked how they did that. I did. I almost feel like it was Doug's story as much as it was Frank's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Been a lot of time for Doug, and uh, I'm saying goodbye to Remy. So it's like all the black people on the show are gone now. <laughs> Don't be more. Yeah, I mean, I guess whatever. It's DC. No, I mean, like, but that's like all the. <laughs> they have to introduce. They have to introduce another another black character to to have a black character on the show. <laughs> like they just got rid of. All I was sad that, that the rib dude didn't have as, as much. The what? The 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 guy from the rib chat. Forget his name. Oh yeah, freaking uh, Freddy. Oh Freddy. Freddy. Yeah, yeah, Freddy's in there. Freddy's back. He's a groundskeeper. Groundskeeper Freddy. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. You know, I liked. Always liked it. But I mean, it was cool the scenes that he was in when he was like, uh, when it was him and Remy, and and he was talking yeah. about Frank, and he's like, dude, back in the day, I had, you know, I had to, I could go back to the kitchen when he just started jawing so much, and I wanted him to shut the fuck up, but now, <laughs> now he's a groundskeeper. He's got to <laughs> hang around, and listen to Frank talk, and he's getting pissed and stuff. It was great. Was anybody shocked that Dexter's brother hung himself in that cell? I kind of saw that coming. Oh, yeah, I guess that was Dexter's brother, wasn't it? <laughs> that oh. was Dexter's brother. Yeah, that guy sucks. <laughs> I'm glad he hung himself. <laughs> I mean, like, the only thing the guy's got going for him is that he's died in everything I've seen him in. And that just makes me, you know, it makes me feel good. <laughs> so America, America works. That was Frank's big thing. And works. Yeah. And works. That was his big push this season. Oh yeah, and I like the Colbert uh, cameo. That was, yeah, that, that was, was really awesome. good. Except, you know, I that thought was Colbert cool. was kind of digging at him a little more than than he would. I see. I don't know. I've seen him dig before. Yeah, yeah. have you seen yeah. him? Like, I don't know. I it's always been a little more comical when I watch Colbert, but I but I didn't watch it really. Have, so. have you seen the one where he did with Obama? No, he dug at him for. Oh, okay, okay. So well, good. Never mind then. It's, uh... <laughs> this show is, is, in my opinion, it is a nine out of ten, if not a ten out of ten. I, I watched nine episodes today, and it didn't feel like a chore. I enjoyed every moment of everything I was watching. And there's a few parts where you can walk away or whatever, but for the most part, it is, it is solid. Yeah, you can walk away at the very, very beginning of each episode, but you only have like 45 <laughs> seconds to a minute and a half to get back because that's when the credits are over and the show starts. <laughs> Yes, it, it's very good. The acting, the writing, I, I think it's strong. What do you what do you mean? How you guys feel? Oh yeah, I mean, no, I agree. Nine out of ten, easily nine out of ten, possibly more. But uh, I'd have to watch it again just to see if it's got that rewatchability factor that, that makes up that last point. But uh, yeah, it was great. I loved it through right all the way through again. Um, they, you don't see everything coming. It's great, you know, great writing. You're not ever at a point where you're like that is so stupid. You never say that. So, yeah. Nine out of ten. Great show. Good job, guys. Netflix. And thank you for just putting it all out at once. Man, yeah. Fuck this. Fuck this <laughs> weekly shit, man. And then it's taking three month breaks in between. I'm not, thank you, Netflix. Thank you. Yep. And you can't wait for Daredevil next next oh, year. Oh, damn. As a guy. Oh my god, Daredevil. Uh, did you see the pictures of Vincent D'Onofrio? Yes. Oh, oh Netflix, I love you. Seven thirty tonight. It's <laughs> on YouTube. Dan, um, you're you you're new to this whole series. You watched it this weekend. I watched the entire thing. And a weekend. real big. Yeah. Like, this, this guy's a champion. Right here. <laughs> he is a champion. Just so you can be on this cast Binge with us today. TV champion right here. So what? How how do you feel? Because you watched the original series. Um. Well, I I started the, the the first series. I've watched maybe like the first season and a half. Um. From what I can tell, this this borrows from from that a lot. Um. I didn't like season three of, of this one as much as I like season two, but that said, it's still better than damn near everything else that's on TV <laughs> at this point. So it's still quite high praise. Um, I, I, I would have liked to, to, to have seen Francis get his, his hands dirty a little more. Um, that said, as president, he's got some awesome lines. <laughs> That that just make me smile. Um, 
Yeah, it's... I like the Russian president too. He was actually like one of my favorite. Like, my favorite new addition to the to the lineup was yeah. probably the Russian president, the, the Putin. Yeah, the he Russian held his own the... against uh, Frank. Oh, God, it was great. The it Russian dude's a major asshole, which which means you need to watch him. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. It's great. Um, yeah, I would agree. Nine out of ten. Yeah. Um, the, to go with the whole, I wish Frank had gotten his hands dirty. Stan and I both said that. I think it would have been cheesy if his hands had gotten dirty. Yeah. Like, you know, you watch these fun action shows <laughs> and you want them to do things and then they do them and then you look back on it and you're like, yeah, I kind of wish they hadn't done it. But <laughs> with this show, they, they they really know what they're doing. You guys just push somebody out of the Oval Office and then he has Freddie bury him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a few times I was waiting for that. Just have to throw yeah, him yeah, yeah, see, no, like, Roll him up in that carpet. And he calls up, you know, whoever, like, get me a new car. He calls up the... the the press guy, give me a new carpet. <laughs> you can't Freddy, find the Russian dig president. Dig me a hole in the backyard. <laughs> there is an interesting dynamic. Frank obviously really likes his wife. Like he legitimately cares about her. And with the way that this season ended, I can't wait to see how they play it off next year. Well, I mean, like, you know, it's cool because uh, in, in one of the previous seasons, Frank says, I don't use anybody I can't dispose of. And Claire is, like, the only person who he doesn't feel that way about. She's the only person he can't dispose of. And then she leaves. And yeah, that's, that's I mean, great. Yeah, so it's it's that thing. Yeah, it's I, I I thought that was so awesome. He says <laughs> he says really mean things to her, but when you get the fourth wall break and you get that inner dialogue, that's his real thoughts. And yeah. he said plenty of times, "Don't fuck with my wife." Oh no, and you're like okay. He said, uh, "I love her more than sharks love blood." Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, hold on. Let's go back a little bit though. You're, you're saying that his fourth wall breaks are his real thoughts, but mm-hmm. are they really? I mean, because he, he's talking to you like like you're you're another person. So is it just what he wants you to believe? Well, yeah, but it's also more than he's letting everyone else see. Yeah, I think well, you were getting like an honest <laughs> an honest angle from yeah. us, which the fourth wall breaks help make him more human, I guess. <laughs> and more, more of an asshole. Human? Yeah, I mean, no. Uh, from the very first scene of the show in season one, when he's chokes that dog out <laughs> i knew that this dude was legit i mean he's talking to you he's choking the dog out he's not even skipping a beat i was like this guy is about his business like they, like there's no way that i could ever I, I wouldn't be able to choke the dog out you know what i'm saying like i would feel bad at, and i'd want somebody to end its suffering it just wouldn't be me <laughs> you know like, i'm sorry i'm not gonna do it but uh yeah so like I, I don't know if it makes him more human because I don't know many humans that would do that that sort of thing, you know. Like <laughs> the fourth wall just lets you see more of the you know the the inner machinations of this. Like he's like a super villain almost. He's, yeah, he's a modern day super villain, the anti hero. <laughs> um, so yeah, you heard it from us. Nine out of ten. Please like, comment, and rate us on YouTube. If you don't agree with us, leave it in the comment section. If you do, let us know why. Check us out on iTunes. Just type in Geek News. And... Or if you don't agree with us, let us know why. And if you do agree with us, then yeah, super duper awesome. <laughs> and um, if you're listening or watching us on Tuesday, March 3rd, join us at 730 for our live news show. So from all of us, good night. <laughs>